All right, well, I haven't tried to do a Zordal and a Fibble together for a little while, and I thought that'd be fun to do today. So uh, if you're not familiar with Zordal, which is on the left there, this is the game that's like Wordle, except there's two words on the same grid. We're trying to find both of them. And you'll notice I have hard mode turned on like usual. So this first word that's given to us is not actually given to us yet. But as we make our first five guesses, one letter at a time will be revealed. And then on the right is Fibble, which is like Wordle, but on every row, one of the clues is a lie or a fib. Um, and I'm gonna try and solve them at the same time, meaning I'm gonna make the same guesses for both puzzles. Uh, that's about all we need to know. So we've already got Cheek on the Fibble. We don't know what we have on the Zordal yet, so let's go with something. I, you know, I like to repeat clues to try and find contradictions, typically. Um, let's do, I don't know, how about Cheap? Or maybe check. I think check would be better. Although, it's good to do different letters for the Zordal. So repeating the C isn't great, but I don't know. That's all right. Let's just go for it. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, well, let's, let's guess it over here, and then we'll come back and look at the Fibble. Okay. So, ooh, that was pretty good on the Zordal. All right. So, what we know that one of the two E's is a lie here, right? So... Whichever one of those two is the lie, on that row, the yellow C, the, well, not the yellow C, we'll come back to the yellow C, the, but the gray H and the gray K have to be true on that line, right? So if the green E is a lie, the H and the K are true. If the gray E is a lie, the H and the K are true, so therefore they're true on both. Now the yellow C, we can't quite say the same thing because let's imagine this one is the lie. Then we know these are both true. But, if this is true, and this is true, this could be a lie, but this one would still be true. Because it's the second C. So we can't say for sure that just because the yellow C is true on one of the lines, it's definitely true on one of the lines, but it's not necessarily true on both. Because these could both be true, and this one could be the lie, because it's also... Well, because it's supposed to be gray, then if there's one C or, you know, who knows? There's there's a few different ways it could work out. So, but we do know the H and the K are both true. We also know that this one is true because for that to be a lie, this would have to be true. And that would mean that this would then be a lie. Actually, no. Well, so that, that would mean you'd have two E's in the word, but that would also mean that there's two C's in the word, which is unlikely, but anyways. All right, so we know that much. Let's look over here. I mean, we've got, we know there's an E somewhere. We know there's a K. We've got the one C. There's not another C, so not too much to go off of there yet. Uh, interesting that the K is not at the end. Um, so, a K and an E in new spots would be good there. Over here, we could do a K and an E again, potentially. Um, I'm more interested in the C, really. Uh, unfortunately, because the C isn't going to help us on the Zordal, but... Uh, or, I mean, we could go with five new letters. It's not going to be as helpful on the Fibble, potentially, but it, it could be. You never know. Um, let's do, let's do Faint. Why not? Let's go for five new letters. Be a little crazy. Okay. Ooh, and we've got the, the yellow S there, too. That's nice. Um, so, what did we learn over here? Did we learn anything? Not really. Now, we know that only, at most, one of F, A, I, and T can be in the word, because only one of them can be a lie. If the N is the lie, then none of those others are in the word. Uh, so, what I'm thinking is... Let's do something E A K maybe. Um, that would be good for the Zordal. We could do E A K S. It's not great over here though, is it? Because I'd like to do a C, but the C isn't going to help on the Zordal. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do clean which is going to repeat the C, uh, repeat the E, where we had the green up here, and so hopefully we'll get some contradictions. It'll be a new spot for the N, and it'll also be a new spot for the A and the N over here, as well as a new letter, so kind of a balance. Sort of good, sort of bad for both. 
basically. Uh, okay, well, we didn't find the A or the N, and we already knew about the C. Okay, that wasn't very helpful. All right. Um, and over here, okay, so, I mean, it's unlikely that the yellow C is the lie all three times. It is possible. We do know, okay, we know that either this C or this A is a lie. Actually, we know this A is a lie. No, we don't. We don't know that, because we don't know that this is gray yet. Okay. We know that the C or the A is a lie, so the gray E is definitely true. Because again, one of those two is a lie on that row, the gray E will be true, so therefore it's true on both. Which means there is no E, which means this is the lie, that's true, that's true. Now again, we can't necessarily say this is true because that's true. Because it could be that this one is and that's the lie, but we know that one of the C's there is a lie. Um, now we know this one is true though, because it's the only C on that row. Hopefully that makes sense to people. But, uh, okay, we know one of these two ends is a lie as well. But I don't know. So, okay, one of the ends is a lie. One of the A's is a lie. Therefore, on those two rows, the two lies have to be A and N. So the rest of these are true. Okay, so we still don't know for sure. I mean,. For this one to be true, there can't be a C fourth, but there could be the A fourth. If this one is true, then there's only the one C, which makes sense. That would mean that the A is the lie, which would mean the N is true. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna look over here, see what we can figure out. What's this word up here gonna be, the starting, because the, the two answer words and the starting word are usually related somehow. But this is interesting, essay maybe? Could be essay. Uh, what do we wanna do? We could do, awake isn't too bad. That's a new spot for the K, new spot for the E, two new spots for the A. Um, that's not gonna be super helpful on the right, but let's go for that. Okay, that was really good. Awake. Is that gonna awaken anything in us? Uh, <laughs> so, well, we know the E is true. We know the K is true. And if this A is true, then this one would, these both A's would, actually, if the, so if this A is true, both of these A's would be true then, presumably. Most likely, which would mean the W is a lie, which would mean there is a W, which is interesting because if the A is true, the C here is a lie, which means there's a C that's not first or fourth. There's an A fourth and there's a W. What would that be? Something, um, macaw? No. Ooh, but then also, there needs to be an N. We would need to have a C, maybe last, second, third, or fifth, the A there, and there has to be a W and an N. I don't, I don't know that that really works. I don't know if that works. I don't know that the A can be true. But if it's a lie, that doesn't necessarily mean there's not an A, because it could be that it's a lie and it's supposed to be yellow. Hmm, interesting, okay. Well, and over here, ooh, it's not gonna be essay. What is it, S's, S's? There could be two S's too. It could be that there's more than one S in the word. We know there's not gonna be three, because this is gray. If there's another S here and it's yellow or green, Still haven't found the N. The N and the S are the only letters we haven't located yet. So we could do SN something. S-N-O-U, something like snout, but that's not great. And the T isn't gonna help us on the right anyways. We could do S-N-U something. Snubs maybe? I mean, that would check two spots for the S, although I suspect that this could be an S. I'm not sure what else this is gonna be. And so if we're already gonna check the S there when it reveals this letter, then maybe not guessing S at the end would be better. 
could do something like Snoop <laughs> Tech for a double O. Uh, we don't even know that there's an O in the word, so that's not great, but I don't know how that's gonna help on the right, but let's go for it. Okay. Ooh, snake. Oh, snake. S's. Snakes make a sound and they look like an S shape. It could be snake. And then we would have C. And that's all we would have. C. Uh, crumb. Crumb would work, but I don't know how that fits with S's and snake. Interesting. I like snake, but I'm not sure what's going to happen otherwise. Okay, let's do Snoop over here. <laughs> well, that's interesting. So that's always weird. Um, so we did not solve it. It looks like we solved it because it's all green, but we did not. Wow, but we're, we're really close, which is wild because I was not expecting that to be close because only one of those can be a lie. So... And we were, we, uh, we're pretty sure there's a C, uh, it's gotta be scoop. It's gotta be scoop, cause we're pretty sure there's a C in the word. And it has to be scoop. That is insane. That we just randomly guessed Snoop because of the Zordal. <laughs> it has to be scoop because we think there's a C, so. Um, I guess let's go scoop. Wow. Okay. I was not, I was not close to guessing that otherwise. But now, unfortunately, we're down to our last two guesses and we have to get this. So, uh, I mean, other than crumb, I'm not sure how that works with S's though for crumb. So there's a C and we have nothing else. We've got... We've got Y and U that we can use for vowels, because if assuming it's snake, it might not be snake, but I'm thinking snake. It's snake is really good with S's, so C what? What would come after the C? C R C U. I mean it's gotta be one of those, right? And it could it could be curb or something, but it needs to be five letters. Curvy! Curvy works much better with S's than curb. Or crumb. Curvy. Oh, I think curvy's really good. Um, I'm gonna go for curvy and then snake. And it's snake. Woo! Alright. And as usual with Zordal, we have our AI-generated image. It's generated by Midjourney with prompting from Keldor, who created who created Zordal and Fibble both, I believe. And this puzzle was submitted by Libby C. So thank you, Libby. All right. Well, that was a little closer than I like it to be. Um, did not have Scoop figured out at all. That was pretty amazing. And I, I mean, I feel like if I had a couple more guesses, it might have come to me at some point because, you know. But we were still thinking there could be an A potentially, but I don't know. Anyways, that was amazing. And then I, I didn't have Curvy figured out until right at the end either. So anyways, survived. That's all that matters. We survived the snake pit. So um, anyways, let me know how you did with today's Zordal and Fibble. And if you try them together, let me know how that goes, especially. I'd be interested to hear how people do doing both at the same time. And uh, of course, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Pretzel's a good name for dogs. Yes. We like food names for our dogs. You know, we could we could just give all our reindeer food names. We could name them Turkey and Cranberry. <laughs> and Lurky. That's a terrible name for a dog. Turkey and Lurky. I feel like venison Turkey would be a bad idea. But... What is that? Cheek. Cheek. It's going to be Cheek. Okay. Well, let's do essay type. Look at that. That is a word I should have had a long time ago. So now, I don't know. Let's try that. Oh, that was his. <laughs> So the three eyes were the lies. Wow.